And when we have a subject uh, that's more close up, more up front, and there's not much depth or any depth, there's not the distant meadow or mountains and trees way in the background that kind of pulls you into the landscape. So I want to rearrange some things here that kind of draws the, the viewer into the painting. I want to get rid of some unnecessary things. I want most of the sky as far as top to bottom, but I'll cut some off on the side. Cut off a little bit of the foreground. I want to zoom in a bit more to what my focal point's going to be. There's no distance. Things in the background that I want to show as well. So then I want to kind of change things. I, I need something to pull the viewer in. So this fence here, while it is a little bit at an angle, I want to angle it a bit more. If I maybe move up fence post there, then I will have an angle maybe this way. And the posts would get thinner and smaller as they go back and create a little bit of sense of depth that the photograph really doesn't have. So I'll get rid of these things in front. I'll cut down some of these bushes. They're a little high. Uh, some kind of pattern in here, but I don't want anything too straight across. It just gets, gets too static. So I will get rid of those, uh, the fence. And I want to think about some shapes and contrast that makes the focal point stick out more. So I like the dark of these trees. Uh, the roof is dark compared to the sky, but it would be dark compared or light compared to the trees. So I can uh, maybe move the trees up, create a bit of a bigger pattern. I want very irregular, but I would want that dark. back in the background behind the barn to make it make it stand out a bit more and then maybe lift these trees up and create a, a shape and this is what I would usually kind of mess around with for a while put a shape in like this And I might wipe it out and try some different shapes in the background. This this is fairly staggered. Kind of uneven, which is good. I don't want anything too symmetrical. Now this allows the barns to become even more of the focus because there's a there's kind of a foil behind them that really makes them pop out. And I can spend more time arranging these. I might take this tree right here and uh, move it over just a little bit. It's a little centered, so I might move it right in here instead. What interests me is, is of course, the barns and then this fence along the back. So I want to emphasize those. <clears throat> a lot of, uh, again, light on the tree, shadow and light on the tree, Sh uh, light on the barn, the roof, uh, a shadow on the side of the barn. So a lot of dark and light. I like the fence row in there, the kind of staggered, uneven uh, kind of fence you don't want in your backyard, but it's real nice to paint. So I want to emphasize those things and probably start a little slower. Again, there's not that different layers to fill in, background, middle ground, foreground. Everything's kind of foreground. And everything's somewhat flat. I want to make sure I have a variety of shape, which I do, this barn here and this barn the shape of the foreground. Everything's kind of different. The shape of the sky, shape of the tree. So I got a variety of, of shapes and sizes abstractly to work with. Start a little bit thinner, maybe wash in some color uh, and start slower and build up the lights a little bit more. There's a couple of other paintings. Um, it's a very quick sketch I did of, uh, of a market scene. And um, very simple, but the focus, again, is on these four figures. There's a fifth one back there, but uh, not a big part of it. And the variety of shapes from the real dark, dark underneath here, shapes of the figures, and the shape of all that 
produce in there and then shapes of the background and shapes of the umbrellas and I'm arranging those shapes cutting in a lot with the background to cut into the figures but keeping everything very very simple it's this was more of a, a sketch for an idea but I kind of like those the those small ones you do to figure out what the plan is going to be they have more spontaneity to them uh, the larger finished one didn't have near the uh, easy flow of the brushwork but the bigger they get and the more you focus on them um, the more detail you're going to have but again everything is up up front no depth at all and um, so I have to think of ways of breaking up these shapes that are all up front for some variety and using color too to also make it more interesting if I don't have distance in my painting to draw someone in to create some interest then I have to use color in that foreground area because there is no middle ground or background one more here of a house again no background there's a barn behind the house but that's not much depth to speak of so I'm looking at the variety of you know, line here line there different lines on the house um, to kind of break things up angle on the uh, on the roof and when I look at it that way that creates a lot more interest than if, if the ground was flat and I had a lot of just straight uh, verticals so I'm looking for ways to create more line more design and there's just more detail in here that I'm going to mess with. I can block things in quickly because there's no depth to, to uh, uh, try and work with. So I want to work with more detail up front. Still simplifying quite a bit, but making decisions on what I'm going to work on. In this case, the fence, um, some of the windows, the, uh, the chimney, and the, and the wall underneath the porch. I found real interesting as long as some of the grasses and rocks in the foreground. So we'll be doing more detail, maybe a little bit more finished work on this because it is up front and close and um, create more interest there in that strong center of interest. Mm -hmm.